Hey everyone, it's Mikkel Thor from expatmoney.com here. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down just what exactly is a digital nomad visa and how you can go about getting one. Make sure to subscribe to us and turn on notifications. Becoming a digital nomad is a very hot topic right now, and with many jobs going remote in the last two years, workers are becoming more location independent than ever before. This has led to substantial growth and in interest in the digital nomad lifestyle. After all, why not enjoy a lower cost of living and the opportunity to experience different cultures and countries? In many ways, becoming a digital nomad is almost like being on a perpetual vacation, Alibi, one where you still have to remain relatively productive. At the same time, this raises some interesting legal questions. Where exactly should a digital nomad pay taxes on their income? Do they owe it in the country they are temporarily living in, in their own country? Have they discovered some sort of magical tax loophole? And what about the legal and ethical question of working remotely on a tourist visa? Enter the Digital Nomad Visa, a tool that many countries are ushering in, which serves to answer all of these questions by paving a legal pathway for remote workers and freelancers and digital entrepreneurs to legally come visit and work remotely in a foreign country. So let's dig into some of the basics. First, who exactly is considered a digital nomad? A digital nomad is someone who works remotely and earns their income from their computer. They can be an employee of a company, a business owner, or a freelancer. However, a digital nomad must not be associated with, employed by, or have clients in the country where they hold their digital nomad visa. Second, what is a digital nomad visa? A digital nomad visa is a temporary residency permit for those who earn an income working remotely. Typically, these visas last from six months, such as in Iceland, or up to one to two years, but can generally be extended for longer periods of time. This visa allows you to legally reside in a foreign country without changing your employment or job. You can do exactly what you were doing in your home country and continue working remotely, but now you get to travel and explore a whole new country while you do so. Here are a few of the countries currently offering digital nomad visa. Let's start with Costa Rica. This popular expat destination unveiled their digital nomad visa in July of 2022. The application process takes only about two weeks, and you must have an income of at least $3,000 a month or $4,000 a month if you're going with your family. In addition, you are required to have health insurance. The visa will be valid for 12 months and can be extended. The best part, you will also not owe any income tax to Costa Rica for the time you spend working there, which makes this an awesome digital nomad visa. Next is Barbados. If you have to work, why not do it from an island paradise? That is the thought behind the Barbados welcome stamp, their take on a digital nomad visa. This visa is valid for 12 months and is aimed at remote workers and freelancers. The visa costs $2,000 to apply individually, or you can pay the $3,000 family bundle and bring along your spouse and kids and even your pets. You must have a minimum income of at least $50,000 a year, and the expected approval period is only one week. Again, visitors with this visa will not owe any income tax in Barbados. Then we have the European nation of Georgia, which has become an increasingly popular destination for digital nomads because of their low cost of living and beautiful natural scenery. The requirements for the 12-month remotely from Georgia visa is an income of at least $2,000 per month or $24,000 a year in the bank. You will also need travel insurance and you must work remotely for a foreign company, be a freelancer or own your own business. The application is completely free and is generally processed in 10 working days. You don't get out of taxes altogether with this one, but with a 1% tax on gross revenue of approximately $150,000 or less for certain small businesses, Georgia is still an ideal expat destination for qualifying freelancers or entrepreneurs. Staying in Europe, let's go to Greece. Another low cost of living country with a digital nomad visa. If you have ever wanted to tour the cradle of Western civilization or visit the Parthenon, this may just be the opportunity you've been waiting for. This digital nomad visa costs just 75 euros and is valid for a year. You must demonstrate an income of at least 3,500 euros per month and add in an additional 20% fee for spouse and 15% per child. 
Okay, back to the Caribbean, the Bahamas. The Bahamas is another island tropical paradise nation offering a digital nomad visa. To qualify for the Bahamas program, you must have health insurance and proof of remote work or self-employment. A great feature of this visa is that there is no specific income required with this one, and the visa is valid for one year. The application fee is only $25, then you also have to pay $1,000 for the work permit, plus $500 for each dependent. You can expect to turn around time on your application in as little as five business days. The low cost of the application, plus the lack of income requirement, make this one ideal for digital nomads that are just getting started and don't have as much certainty with their income. Next up is Curaçao, which is part of the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao, and is located just north of Venezuela. Curaçao has launched the At Home in Curaçao program. For just $294, you can get a six-month remote work visa with the possibility to extend for another six months. You will have to demonstrate that you have the economic means to support yourself during this stay, and the application should be processed within two weeks. Next. Not too far from Curaçao, we have Colombia, which is offering a digital nomad visa that started in October of 2022. This visa provides the ability to live in Colombia, work remotely for two years, and serve as an immigration pathway for remote workers. The minimum income requirement is very flexible, and you only have to make $684 a month, but you must also have health insurance. Lastly, we head back to Eastern Europe to look at Latvia's digital nomad visa. Latvia is a relatively small country in Eastern Europe on the Baltic Sea, bordered by Estonia to the north, Russia to the east, and Lithuania to the south. The requirements are an income of at least $2,857 a month and health insurance, as well as proof of employment or self-employment. Unfortunately, you cannot bring your dependents along with you on this visa. The process takes approximately two weeks, and the visa is valid for up to a year. You can also renew it for a second year, but after that, you must apply for the temporary residency status. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the digital nomad visa concept, and hopefully one of these countries has a digital nomad visa that's right for you. As always, make sure to bookmark expatmoney.com, where we will always be keeping you up to date on the latest developments on these and many other types of visas. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for new videos every week.